In this video, I will show you the process of establishing a RUEGIA Simplified Optical Ethernet SOE network on a campus. RUEGIA SOE Solution 3.0 involves an indoor SOE switch, a passive transparent distribution device, a splitter, and hyperconverged core device. Let me introduce these device's features. This is Ruegia's next generation indoor SOE switch. With its compact design and a size smaller than A4 paper, the switch is easy to install. You can mount it inside an ELV box, cabinet, or directly onto the wall. It sets itself apart from conventional switches with its fanless design and efficient heat dissipation architecture. The tested noise level is less than 35 dB. The switch provides various port types including 4-port, 8-port and 16-port options with the flexible choice among 1GE, 2.5GE and 5GE ports. This allows for access of multiple types of terminals in a classroom. As the name suggests, the passive transparent distribution device does not require external power source. Through the nine ports, the device can convert a 16-core optical cable into a single-core one. Despite its small size, it does not need external power source and helps to reduce the number of trunk optical cables between buildings, cutting down infrastructure investment. The splitter can duplicate the single core optical cable generated by the passive transparent distribution device to achieve uplink redundancy with two optical links. Therefore, the links are secure and reliable. The hyperconverged core switch works as the core of the campus network. Although a hyperconverged line card provides only eight optical ports, each port can be connected to optical ports in eight rooms through the transparent distribution device. This can significantly reduce the required number of optical ports of the core switch and fiber patch cables. Now, let's learn how to deploy these devices. In classroom deployment scenarios, first, secure the indoor switch, then connect the endpoint to the port of the switch, Install the optical modules before plugging in the two-core optical cable. By deploying one indoor SOE switch, it's possible to connect all network devices within a classroom. In the aggregation equipment room, first install the splitter and transparent distribution device on the rack. Then connect the two-core optical cable to two uplink ports of the splitter. Connect the downlink port of the splitter to the uplink port of the distribution device through a fiber patch cable. Finally, plug the optical cable of the switch into the port of the distribution device. Finally, deploy the core switch in the core equipment room. Install a hyper-converged line card on the core switch. Then, plug the two core optical cable of the splitter into two hyper-converged ports. Each port can transmit the data of the connected switches in eight rooms. The two ports implements redundancy. As of now, all the ports are installed. Here is the last step. Power on and debug commission the devices. The devices go online through zero touch provisioning. Power on the indoor switch first. The LED is on, indicating that the switch is powered on normally. You can view the online process record of this switch on the RG INC platform. The devices automatically go online through ZTP in three to five minutes. In a scenario with a large number of devices, you can deliver configuration through the RG INC platform quickly, saving the labor and time consumed by one by one commissioning. This reduces the time it takes to onboard each device and simplifies the overall process. The preceding steps comprise the complete process of deploying a RUEGIA SOE Solution 3.0.
SOE Solution 3.0 utilizes coarse wavelength division multiplexing technology to avoid bandwidth division. The reduced number of required optical ports on the core switch reduces costs. The EIV room without external power source decreases failures. Dual length redundancy and dual device redundancy ensure network stability.